here at the Downtown Westminster Farmers Market, and I am so excited to show you all that's new at this oldest producer-only market here in Carroll County. It is bigger and better than ever. We not only have the return of great fruit and vegetables, sweets, meats, even dog treats, but now we have a gluten-free baker, we have guacamole, lotions, pickles, and it's just an unparalleled array of amazing activity and great produce. We've got kids activities, live music. So I'm gonna take you on a little trip through the market today with my, my bag. It's a sustainable bag available at all of the vendors. So I'm going to fill it with lots of goodies and we're gonna stop first at Furnace Hills because I need some coffee. I'm at the market, the first thing I suggest doing is grabbing a coffee and a snack as you peruse the offerings for the market because they change every single week. We're in the middle of the summer, so the produce is really great, but I like to take a look first to see what's available. And on a cold day when it's rainy, I, a, a nice cozy cup of coffee is great, but today it's warm and I am dying for an iced coffee. And I think Dave has that iced coffee available for us today. We do. We've got a Burundi iced coffee and uh, it's just a nice creamy, without putting any cream or sugar in it, it's creamy and sweet just naturally. It's great. So what makes it creamy and sweet? It's, well, how they grow it in Burundi. So it's shade grown and it's uh, naturally fertilized and there's no chemicals involved with it. So how do you get this, this great coffee? Well, that particular coffee we get from an organization called Thrive Farmers, but we get it through Thrive, we know the guy who's growing it in Burundi. His name is Ben Carlson. He's from Wisconsin originally, but so he's really a good, uh, he's helping raise a whole level of coffee production in that small little country in Central Africa. That's great. And you bring the beans back here and you roast them here, yes? Yes, we have a, we have a shop on Main Street here in Westminster and we roast it there. And then we bring it over here every Saturday and you have an opportunity to drink great coffee and buy it here as well, buy the beans. So you can buy the beans and they can be ground or whole? And so you're here every Saturday at the market, and, but if I want to get it during the week, you mentioned a shop. So what, what, what's, the, what's the deal with the shop? Yeah, we're at 71 West Main Street. That's where our roastery is. You wouldn't want to come in and get a cup of coffee and sit there because it's so noisy. But you can buy a cup of coffee, but you'd probably take it with you. And uh, so we just have a great time roasting coffee, and we, uh, that's, where, that's where our base of operations is during the week. That's where the magic is. Well, I can't wait for my coffee. Thank you so much, Dave. Center of the market right now where there's lots of new things. We've got hops being uh, sold, which is great for people who, who make beer and other things. We've got the pickle guy, love these pickles, including pickled green tomatoes. And one of our newest offerings is sheep's milk cheese. I am so fascinated by this cheese. Tell us what the difference between sheep's milk and cow's milk cheese is. Well, sheep's milk has a lot more protein in it and the cell structure is different, so you can freeze our soft cheeses one time. Um, and, but there's also a lot more fat in it. That means it tastes better though, right? Yeah, it does <laughs> taste better, I think. It's got a lot more flavor. Okay. So what's your favorite? I see you have a couple of offerings here. You, you, you have samples. So what is, so that's a spreadable cheese? Is that what it is, or? We have a spreadable cheese. We have four soft uh, pasteurized cheeses, and then we have Right now we have three um, raw hard hard cheeses, and usually we carry a lot more. We carry two more, but we're out of those right now. So popular demand, I guess. You also have some great some great soaps here too. So this is really neat, and they smell divine. So tell me how this started. Um, well, we had extra milk at the end when we switched everything over into our bulk tank. So my mom started making cheese out of it, or soap out of it. Well, they're beautiful soaps, and, uh, and I've bought them, and they are fabulous. So thank you so much. One of our returning vendors from last summer is number one guacamole, who was arguably one of our most popular producers last summer. We are so happy to have you back. And tell us about your incredible guacamole. Well, we make it by hand, and it's, we have three different types of itself. 
original, which is our basic recipe. And uh, we always have spicy, which has jalapeno and habanero peppers and chipotle and uh, cholula sauce. It has a little bit of a kick to it. And then we always have a special every week. This week it's chipotle, which has chipotle and adobo sauce, uh, cajito cheese, and corn. And that has a little bit of spice to it, but not as much as the spicy. Well, it's absolutely fantastic. And what is the best use of guacamole besides the obvious of just snacking with chips, which we all do? And I mean, so what, what is there other things that we can do with it? You can pretty much do anything you want with it. You can put it on, you can put it on hamburgers or, or sandwiches or uh, almost on any way you would use mayonnaise or okay. mustard. It's like a spread, kind of. Yeah, right. Well, I will tell you, just looking at it makes me hungry because it is so delicious. So thank you so much for your return to the market. Oh, yeah. No, we love it. Thank you. Well, tell us about your walk down from McDaniel College to the farmer's market. What brought you here today? Well, the just that it's open and the, um, the great produce we always see and, and the great people we always see. Indeed. So what, what are you looking for today? Always looking for tomatoes. How are they? Uh, not quite there yet. I mean, there's some nice looking tomatoes here today, but uh, you don't need to get a little warmer uh, and yeah. get a little more of them here. It's early in the season yet, but uh, you have a bag. So, what are you? What have you? Have you purchased anything yet to this we, week today? We have purchased uh, zucchini and tomatoes so far, and um, the bakery goods always look uh, wonderful. So, they're very tempting. Indeed, indeed. So, did you walk down here, or did you? No, we drove. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we got lots of errands for us. That's okay, but you know, so but so it, it is, is a beautiful but day. It is a good day to walk. It's a beautiful day to walk, and it is convenient to right downtown. And so, you know, it's, it's uh, you can roll down the hill from McDonald to get here. So, so, so thank you so much for coming, and we look forward to seeing you again at the market. Thanks a lot. Thank okay. you. Yay. So that's the market in a nutshell or a very big corn husk, if you will. It's an awesome opportunity to shop local, get great produce. You heard about the great things to just heat and eat or grab and snack. There's the amazing pickles. This has been one of our most popular producers. All kinds of different pickles, kosher and sour and green tomatoes. So come on down every Saturday from 8 to noon at the downtown Westminster Farmers Market. To learn even more about our market, you can find us on Facebook, Downtown Westminster Farmers Market, or online at www.downtownwestminsterfarmersmarket.com. We'll see you around downtown.